I have a massively cluttered gallery and I'm always lazy to clean it up because it feels like work. And if you're like me, check out Photo Super, a fast and efficient way to clean up your gallery by just swiping left to delete a photo or swiping right to keep a photo. And if you accidentally deleted the photo, you can just tap on this undo button to bring it back. It's simple, lightweight and just makes tidying up your gallery way, way easier. Then we have Odier, an open source music recognition app that's simple but effective. With the app, you can easily recognize any song playing nearby. And the app not only shows you the song name, but also gives you the option to do a web search of the song or directly open that song on Spotify or YouTube from the app. Plus, if you can check out the song right away, the app shows you a history of your recognized songs, perfect when you need them. If you have kids or siblings that you give your phone to to play games or watch videos, I'm pretty sure it has happened to you that they change your volume settings without you knowing and you end up missing calls. If so, check out an app called Volume Locker. It's a lightweight app that lets you set a volume intensity and lock the volume level for ringtones, media, voice calls and alarms so that even if someone tries to change the volume intensity via the volume buttons, it won't work. And just in case the kids get too smart, you can add a password in the settings to avoid changes. We've all been there where you're looking for an important PDF, lecture notes or anything shared with you but you can't find it because it's buried deep within WhatsApp, downloads or email attachments. Well, the easiest solution to that problem is an app called DocKeep, an all-in-one place for your important files. What you have to do is just select a file, then click on share and select DocKeep. Simple as that and the file is added to DocKeep. And in the app, you can manually add files, you can search for specific files, and for a stress-free mindset, you can create folders for specific items, which is fantastic. Next up, we have Tomato, a Pomodoro timer that aims to help you improve focus, reduce distractions, prevent burnout, and increase productivity. With the app, you get a beautiful mature designed interface with those bouncy animations, you get a start section to keep track of your progress and in the settings, you can input a custom focus, short break and long break time depending on what suits you best. Plus, one thing I found cool about the app is that whenever you're using the app, you get this kind of like dynamic island that shows you your progress and if you tap on it, you can interact with the timer which is a nice touch. Some of us still listen to music from our internal storage and if you're that old school guy, check out Booming Music, a simple beautiful music player that gets the job done. You want a beautiful interface? Boom, it's here. You want to create custom playlists? The option is there. You want a different now playing screen? The options are also there. Maybe you like speeding up songs? That feature is also there. Want to sing along? Lyric support is there. Plus, whenever you feel like wearing a DJ hat and rocking your own party, the app comes with an equalizer which works pretty well. If you do a lot of multitasking, check out this app called Smart Dock. It's an app that lets you add a dock that you can use to access your favorite apps or all your apps without leaving your current app. And the best part is you can minimize the dock when you're not using it so it's out of the way. Plus, within the app, you can customize a bunch of stuff to get the app running the way you want it to. So feel free to go out. Next on the list is Wave Up, a simple app that just lets you wave your hand across the screen to wake up the screen. Very handy if you want to check the time or see your notifications without having to touch your phone. And yes, you can use always on display to do the exact same thing, but that just trains back you quicker than using the app. And hey, that's the full list of the best open source apps for Android. Be sure to check out this video because I've got some more of these best open source apps. Thanks for watching, drop a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next one.